Today we are going to show y'all how we cut some cost in staying full time on the road. So I'm going to show y'all how to cut this up. This. This is not part of a ribeye steak. Ribeye, honestly, ought to be cut inch and a half to two inches because it's got so much fat in it that you want that to render while you're cooking. One inch cuts. We got 10 steaks out of that. We saw four of these at one inch each, and it was $80 for four of them. We will put these in a vacuum sealer. These probably one at a time because Marie and I, we split one. So this will feed us 10 dinners. On another episode of Cooking with Clay. All right, so continuing on with how we save money while while being on the road. This is, I mean, for $25, we, we got this whole whole thing of shrimp. Five pounds exactly. Tonight, we're gonna make, and this is gonna make some of y'all mad. Just call it easy. Maria's easy. You, you don't have to claim it at all. It's... <laughs> so, Maria and I differ on how we make shrimp for you. Maria has a very easy way that is just fantastic it's really good it's really quick but you don't make a roux like what clay would make so i'm going to chop all this up in the meantime i'm going to show you some of the uh, dairy farm that we visited in colorado but then we're going to put this in the pot we're going to make sure and creel got this tip from our son, so I figured I would give it a shot here. What I'm doing is, I'm just going to go through this onion a little bit. I want onion cubes. I like for my shrimp creole to have chunks of onion, but slices of bell pepper. And also do this, deep fry it, <laughs> and make a blue onion. That is pretty. You think that's enough onion? Onion doesn't keep, but if you have a cold, you can put it on your chest and it'll make you feel better. Whoa, 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 whoa. Mm -hmm. whoa, 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 whoa. Don't you need to put something in the pan before you put the... I mean, if you're making it my way. So now we're on difference of opinion of how we... You gotta put the, the, the juice, the sauce. The butter? No, the, the, the secret ingredient. Ordinarily, Clay would throw this right into the pan and we would start cooking the onion. But Maria's way does not call for that process. No, you just put one thing in there first well, to saute we're, it. We're, we're going to leave that secret ingredient to the end. Oh. That's going to be the point which people quit watching. <laughs> people, At least the Cajuns will. <laughs> yeah. It, if, you, if you're Cajun, go ahead and get fired up in the comments. Because I guarantee you, this is going to make y'all mad. It's way better than you would think it would be. It is. It's very, and it's very a lot good. Easier. I don't. I don't use the head of the bell pepper, but I, I do use the bottom of it. Maria pre-washed everything for. I guess quite a point. Yeah. You have to do that. I wipe it off with a rag. You can see I. I like. Maria doesn't like it that much. And I like more bell pepper. In mine. Me too. So we always do too. It's not a traditional recipe for shrimp creole. It is a quick and easy one. And it feeds a lot of people. So if yeah. you if you want to have friends over or whatnot, and to be honest with you, unless they saw you make it, I don't know that they well. They would know. But anyway, we've served it at a potluck before, and it went over really well. Maria usually makes this because, because let's be honest, Maria has about four things that she's good at making and they're all 
this level of easy. I was always one of those moms that if it took, it was like more than five ingredients, took more than 30 minutes, I was not interested in trying to do it because who has time? Clay would come home early from work and create a five course meal. Pretty sure that is way more garlic than we are going to eat. I'm just curious. We have pickled garlic that's really good, good, good. <laughs> Not the same. Holy crap! I don't. Maybe maybe the pickled garlic isn't raw. Holy hell! Have you ever tried that? No, I'm not trying that after that face. You're, it's not bad. You're crazy. No. It it tastes really good. It's not. just it's hotter than two hells. Hot? Yes. I'm serious. Take a bite of it. I don't want to. Just take a bite and then. I'm spit never it out. gonna get that taste out of my no, mouth. No, you will. Trust me. Huh. I got something to do though. You're not being dirty right now because I'm gonna <laughs> beat you. <laughs> Put it in your back teeth, bite it, no, the whole thing. I'm not, no. Let's, I don't want to. Just stick it in there. Oh, God. <laughs> That's awful. What in the world kind of garlic did you get? All right, let's chop this up. <laughs> That's some kind of Satan garlic right there. I like my garlic thin. If you've ever eaten raw garlic before, let us know. I was really shocked at how hot that was, weren't you? Uh, yeah. Spicy. You can make this as kind of as quick or as long a process as you want. Obviously, he's putting more vegetables in than I normally do. I just do the onion and the bell pepper. And for those of y'all that are just joining us, garlic is garlic that you buy that's in a jar. Now you're saying I put the secret secret sauce in, mm -hmm. and it's in here. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. You want me to put this? Mm -hmm. Is that enough? It's half a bottle. Well, you have to, it should be a cup. First and last time you'll probably ever see Clay measure anything. And it's only because we don't have a full jar. All right, so that just goes in there like that. Okay, I'm gonna show y'all another technique. You see there's still some stuff left in that bottle. You have to be careful with this. If you are not exact in your preparation, you will end up with a perfect line of whatever is in your bottle, like Heinz 57 sauce, and it'll stain for or 20 ketchup. years. Or ketchup. So, we had a stain on our ceiling for like 10 years from ketchup, from this exact So thing. always make sure the lid is closed. <laughs> always hold the bottle with your hand over the lid and then... And it brings it off. Now do you put this on medium? Mm -hmm. or do you, you don't use any butter? No. That, that's all you do is that all right there. You need to get the rice going. Where's the rice? So we now have vegetables cooking in Italian dressing. We were going to test that out this time, but based on the hotness of the... Oh, it went everywhere. <laughs> based on the heat of the garlic, we're going to forget the jalapenos because this is spicy enough as it is the way we make it. Let's get the, let's get the rice going. Now, are those shrimp detailed and all of that? They are. Gonna have to... This is our friend cayenne pepper. For those of you with soft palates, you don't want to do this. So, we're going to put a little... We're going to take a little Tony's. Tony's uh, is a lot of Cajun seasoning, but it's also really salty, so you don't have to add any additional salt. For good measure, you need blood pepper. Right, now we're going to throw in the garlic. What we need to add? A can of tomatoes and a can of hotel. We've got this handy dandy thing here. This is multitasking. Uh -huh. Yes, you get your stuff first. Oh no! Hurry! You're gonna get beat by a machine? I don't know how to turn that off. I don't either. <laughs> and we got water boiling. Put the rice in there. Mix with one hand. Oh! Water splashed out. That's gonna be it's gonna be dry rice. <laughs> it's fine. Easy now. You know what? Do you want to put some sausage in it? 
Like that, don't you? Mm -hmm. That's the doodle tax. Some sausage. Oh, it's still boiling over anyway. What do we do? Call John Hey Alexa, set a timer for 20 minutes. 20 minutes. Starting now. Alexa says we're done. That is just a pretty, pretty color. Probably wondering, what does this cost? Well, you saw on the shrimp, it was 25 pounds. It was five pounds and it was $25. We used roughly a pound of shrimp in here, so that's five dollars. We used two bell peppers. I think that was a dollar and 88 cents for both of them. The onion itself, I want to say it was a dollar and two cents, something like that. 88 cents, I don't know. Yeah. Then the garlic we bought in bulk, you know, it's a few cents. So we're, we're going to round up and we're going to say that all the ingredients in this came out to be, let's say, $10. But this will feed both of us for three days. Yeah. I think it's better the second and third day if you're doing a, a get together some friends or whatnot that is absolutely enough for everybody to be full and it's good you just have to watch you know what you how much spice you put in it 